Let's see, who am I gonna let wear my yarmulke today? Shall I pick the nose man? The hands man? Or maybe I'll pick the knee man? I think today, I'll pick the knee man. Hey, welcome to our scene on Neiman Pick Disease, represented by this guy over here who's picking someone to try on his yarmulke, and he picks the knee man. The knee man is picked. Knee man is picked for Neiman Pick Disease. Now, why do we pick to choose a Jewish guy in the scene to lend out his yarmulke? And the answer is because Neiman Pick Disease is one of the diseases in which there is a higher incidence in Ashkenazi Jews. So we see that this knee man was picked. Now, he's running to try on the yarmulke. He's running really fast, and let's see what happens. So as he's running, he steps on this board over here. Let's take a look what's on this board over here. So as you see on this board with a picture of the Sphinx on it. The Sphinx is a character with a female face and a lion body. Anyway, he steps on this board over here. The Sphinx, and it's not any Sphinx, the Sphinx has a lace on it. The Sphinx lace, help us remember, Sphingomyelinase. Sphingomyelinase is the deficient enzyme in Neiman Pick disease. So as we can see, when he stepped on this board, it forced this Sphinx over here, this Sphinx model, to go flying up. This Sphingo... This Sphinx model over here is that was remember Sphingomyelin. Sphingomyelin is the accumulated substrate in Neiman Pick disease. And the accumulation of Sphingomyelin is what leads to all the symptoms in Neiman Pick disease. Let's check that out. So as we can see here, the Sphinx goes shooting up and it flies through all these objects in the air. These objects in the air are gonna help us remember the findings in Neiman Pick disease. We first see that first it goes shoots through this thing of cherries over here. The cherries over here will help us remember the cherry red spot on the macula seen in Neiman Pick disease due to the accumulation of sphingomyelin in the retina. Then it shoots through this histologic picture that's randomly in the air. This random histologic picture of foam cells. These are the foam cells, the lip laden macrophages. The cytoplasm of macrophages in Neiman Pick disease appear foamy. And the foam bubbles around the room will help us remember the foam cells. Then the sphinx goes through this neuron over here and the neuron explodes. This is to help us remember the progressive neurodegeneration seen in Neiman Pick disease due to the buildup of sphingomyelin. Then the sphinx goes through this gigantic liver and spleen in the sky. The gigantic liver and spleen in the sky help us remember the hepatosplenomegaly due to the buildup of sphingomyelin. Now you might be wondering, is Neiman Pick disease autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive? Well, let's take a look what's going on under this board over here. We see that the board is actually balancing on this Reese's chocolate. The Reese's chocolate shows up in our recessive videos, autosomal recessive. All right, thank you for watching this scene on Neiman Pick disease. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, be in touch, take care.